You know, every once in a while, it's a good idea to take stock of what's on your iPhone. We all use these things so much. You're looking at a home screen on my uh, iPhone, and you can see, obviously, at the top, a number of uh, apps that I use. At Across the bottom are four apps that I use uh, regularly, and that's why they're in one place there. But probably the most important thing is just above those four apps at the bottom, the little search um, box right there and if you can't if you've lost something or you can't remember where an app is or you need to do a quick internet search this is where you start I'm just going to tap on that and it's going to open up uh, the search uh, bar right in the middle there you can see a couple searches that I've done recently um, about dog. I'm going to lose that. PBS NewsHour, WABI TV Weather. Those are two recent searches. And at the top, some uh, suggestions from Siri where I could find information about searches that I'm making. I'm going to show less up there. But the search bar where the, uh, the cursor is blinking, um, you've got your um, keyboard ready to type in anything. And, or you can use at the, at the other end of the search bar, you've got a microphone, you can just tap on that and, um, and speak in to um, use your voice to, instead of typing in. So the search bar is invaluable, don't forget that. We're gonna go back to the home screen, I'm going to swipe right, and now I'm into something called widgets, which are very handy. A lot of people don't know about these, but I've added the widgets that you can see. I've got top stories there, um, four or five different top stories. You can see I've got a weather app right that if I right there at the top if I um, touched on that. Here's another Google search bar for me to use and then some more news in Flipboard right there. If you go all the way to the bottom of the widgets, you've got a little edit button as you can see and you touch that and then you're able to add or take out um, various widgets um, to have the ones that you want there. Okay, back to the home screen. I'm gonna go uh, left one more time. It brings up the, lap, uh, the app library. You can see my apps are put into categories, um, things like social with uh, Facebook and Twitter, uh, Instagram. There's productivity and finance. Uh, there's a, a, a news uh, folder with different apps. So we've got a lot of apps um, in different places. And, and then if I touch the app library search bar at the top, it gives me an alphabetical list of all my apps that I can even find those easier. Frankly, I, I prefer to use the little search bar back here on the home screen right above the four apps at the bottom. So every once in a while just take a few minutes to um, to look at your iPhone. There may be some things you've never used or you've forgotten how to use. Um, there's just so much here. Give it a try. Take stock every once in a while. This is Ed with Boomer Tech Adventures. Thanks a lot.